Hi everyone! Welcome to session 4 of the Healthy Oakland Families class. Today's lesson is on physical activity and screen time. In today's lesson, you will learn what the exercise recommendations are for your age and which type of exercises you should be doing on a daily basis. You will learn what sports strings are used for and whether sports strings are needed during most exercise activities. Lastly, you will learn what the screen time recommendations are and identify screen-free activities you can do at home. Being active is not just about losing weight. Exercising has many health benefits like lowering cholesterol, improving your blood pressure, maintaining your current weight, and reducing your risk for heart disease. If you have diabetes, physical activity can also help keep your diabetes in control by keeping your blood sugar levels closer to normal. That is because your muscles will remove the sugar from your blood and use it as energy to contract. Here we have some additional benefits of exercising. Exercising can boost your mood and reduce feelings of sadness, anxiety, or stress. Exercising also increases your self-esteem and makes you feel more confident. It can sometimes be difficult to exercise, but after you finish, you feel great and more accomplished. Exercising helps you sleep better, and although you may feel tired after a workout, exercising actually increases your energy levels. Lastly, exercising will boost your brain power, which will help you do better in school because it will improve your focus and learning, help with the development of your brain and your thinking skills, and improve your memory so that you can retain all the information you are learning in school. So how much physical activity do you need? If you are between the ages of 6 and 17, you need at least 60 minutes of activity every day. You should get a mixture of activities such as cardio, which are activities that make your heart beat faster. Aerobic activity is another way to define cardio exercise. There are two intensities for aerobic activity, moderate aerobic activity and vigorous aerobic activity. You should engage in both. Moderate aerobic activity gets your heart beating faster, and it includes things like shooting a basketball, kicking a ball, recreational swimming, brisk walking, yoga, hiking, and dancing. More vigorous aerobic activities make your breathing fast and make your heart pound. This includes things like basketball games or soccer games, swimming laps, running or jogging, aerobics or Zumba class, riding a bicycle at more than 10 miles per hour, and hiking uphill or with a heavy backpack. You should also do resistance training, which are activities that will strengthen your bones and build your muscles. You should do activities that will strengthen your muscles three days a week, and that is any activity that makes your muscles work harder, such as climbing or swinging on the monkey bars, push-ups, etc. You should do activities that will strengthen your bones also three days a week. Your bones need pressure in order to get strong. Running, jumping, and any other activity that puts weight on your bones will help your bones be strong. It can be difficult to find the time and motivation to exercise. You should look for activities that you enjoy doing so that you feel motivated to do them, whether it's dancing, playing a sport, or playing tag with your friends. You also don't have to do all 60 minutes of activity at once. It all adds up throughout the day. For example, if you walk to school in the mornings for 15 minutes, and then you play in school or have PE for 30 minutes, and then you walk back home for another 15 minutes. That's a whole 60 minutes. That's an hour of exercise. When talking about exercise and physical activity, it is important to also talk about sports strings. Sports strings are used by athletes to replace water, energy, and electrolytes during intense physical activity. When you sweat during intense physical activity, your body loses water and electrolytes such as sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. Sports drinks contain sugar, minerals, and electrolytes that help keep your brain, heart, and muscles healthy. However, you can also get minerals and electrolytes from food without having to drink sports drinks. I hope you recognize sodium and calcium from our last class. Again, you can get these nutrients from food without having to drink sports drinks. Foods high in electrolytes are dairy products such as milk, yogurt, and Swiss cheese, unsweetened soy milk, butternut squash, spinach, and lettuce. So do you need sports drinks when you are doing physical activity? For most cases, you don't. 
Water is usually the best choice to hydrate. Water alone is enough to keep you hydrated after a three hour bike ride, a one hour session at the gym, a long hot day at the beach, or running with friends for 40 minutes. You should consider drinking sports drinks only if you are both exercising vigorously, which means you are sweating and breathing hard, and if you are exercising for more than one hour nonstop. Unless both of these apply to your activity, you don't need a sports drink. Water will be enough to keep you hydrated. Like we learned in the first lesson, sports drinks contribute extra calories to your diet due to their sugar content. A typical 20 ounce sports drink contains 9 teaspoons of sugar and you would have to walk at a brisk pace for 27 minutes to burn this off. If you run around with your friends for 30 to 40 minutes and then drink a sports drink, you are gaining back those calories you just burned. Again, it is better to drink water after doing physical activity because water contains no sugar, no calories, and it will still rehydrate you. We are now going to talk about screen time. Screen time is defined as the time spent watching a screen or electronic device for entertainment, such as watching TV, watching movies or shows online, using computers or laptops to access online entertainment, playing games on consoles, computers, or mobile phones, and texting using social media, etc. Screen time does not include time spent on educational activities, such as using your laptop for schoolwork. You should limit screen time to no more than two hours per day. Too much screen time can cause vision problems. It can also increase your risk for being overweight or obese, since more screen time usually means less physical activity. Also, sometimes we tend to snack in front of screens and it's easy to forget how much we're eating and we are more likely to overeat. Too much screen time can also cause aggressive tendencies if we're watching violent shows, movies, or playing violent video games. It can also impair your social skills if you're always on your phone or playing video games or watching TV instead of playing with your friends and talking to people. Lastly, the brightness of screens can also make it more difficult for you to fall asleep. There are so many activities you can engage in that don't require the use of a screen. I encourage you to go over this handout on your own and identify activities that sound interesting to you. Pick a couple of activities you have never done but may want to try out for the first time. Or see if you find activities you already know you like doing and would like to do again. To summarize what we learned today, remember, you want to get 60 minutes of physical activity every day. You want to get a mixture of activities such as cardio or aerobic activities that will make your heart beat faster and resistance training exercises that will strengthen your bones and build your muscles. You want to limit screen time to no more than two hours each day and try other activities that don't require you to be in front of a screen. Remember, you can use electronic devices for educational purposes, and you can even take advantage of technology to help you be active if you need guidance finding activities to do. You will find links to YouTube exercise videos at the end of this lesson, but you can always find other videos on your own. I encourage you to find activities that excite you, that challenge you, that will get you moving and get you away from your cell phone and your TV. See you next time.